Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So like all my videos, time codes in the description, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will hop right into things. So in this video, we are going to do a full review or, you know, kind of just have a conversation. That's personally how I like to do things over here in Dental Co. Um, as we talk about fragrances, let's just have a conversation. How do I feel about Musk 25 by Le Labo? And then we'll do a twofer. So Creed, Delphinus. I know this is a newer fragrance. I think it was released on Wednesday. So whenever this video comes out, um, it's right now it's September 7th. So this fragrance actually came out on a Wednesday. So that will be like, what, September 4th or something? Fact check me on that. But anyways, Creed and Delphinus, we will, or Delphinus, we will also review. I have a small little sample that the clerk also gave me to see how I like it. And actually, you know, spoiler, I actually do like it. But let's talk about Musk 25. Guys, I made a great pick for my taste. So what you're getting here is Musk. <laughs> um, musk and aldehydes. I think there's some Lily of the Valley raw materials in here. So this, this is so beautiful, guys. I can read you off the notes. Um, I don't think you necessarily come here for the notes. But what is this fragrance like? You probably click on the video because you're like, hey, kept talking about Musk 25. What is it like? It's like a sweet, airy, I don't know. <laughs> I bet you never heard that in a review. No, um, all honestly, it's like a sweet, airy, it's powdery like sex. You know, and sorry for being vulgar. So if there's any children listening, sorry. But that's what it is. It's, it's, it's something naughty about it. It's something sweaty about it. It's probably because the musk, um, in here is so heavy and how it plays on your skin. Me personally, it's not amazing smelling it through the bottle. It's something you need to put on skin, especially it being musk. It could go either way, good or bad in each direction for every single person. So put it on your skin first. But guys, when I put it on my skin, oh man, this is just, it's one of those things where if sex had a smell and a good smell, like it might be like this, but powdery <laughs> um, in a good way. It's not sweaty or anything. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is it smells like clean skin or it's fresh. It's clean. It's powdery. It's like someone took a shower and they're laying in bed and, and oh, it's just amazing. Put it on your skin, see how you like it. There is like a baby diaper quality to it. And I know that's weird. Um, I don't want that to deter you from the actual fragrance itself. Put it on your skin. It's a very high price point. So I could understand if some of you are like, why would I pay 400 plus dollars after taxes for 1.7 fluid out fluid ounce when I could get two, three, four other niche fragrances I really like. We'll just, we'll do that. Go ahead and do that. If you are a musk lover, this is one to check out. And if you have money to spare, this is one to get your nose on. This is really for musk lovers or people who are another 13 guy could 10 governor's Island lovers. This is a good gateway into musk. It's, it's really likable. Um, to me, this is non-offensive. It smells great. And if it works for your skin chemistry, you may have found a banker. So highly suggest this lasts a long time. This lasts all day on my skin personally. Um, it, it sits closer to the skin, but in the first few hours, it definitely projects It's a bomb. But as it kind of goes throughout the day, it'll dim a little bit down. And um, for me, because my skin just absorbs fragrances, um, it'll start to sit a little closer, but you can still smell me. I, I don't think it's beast mode by any chance when we think of beast mode fragrances, but it definitely projects. People will smell you. Don't overspray pricing wise, but I, I like to see it a lot more discounted, but you know, I'm not mad. Um, I like it. Musk 25 for my musk lovers. If you want a clean whisper, like clean skin, like maybe even clean laundry, like fragrances with sex appeal, 
with a, with a dirtiness to it almost. Check it out. Must 25 might be yours. I like it. It lasts all day. It projects. It's a dirty, sexy vibe to it during the day. It's something bright about it. It's clean. If that fits your bill, put your nose on it. This is Le Labo City exclusive. So you can't just get it any time of the year unless you live in Los Angeles. This is a Los Angeles City exclusive, I believe. So if you don't, you're going to have to wait around that August, September time to pick this up. If you want the full size bottle and you don't live in the city, you'll need to buy it online. But if you don't mind the smaller bottle, um, you could pick it up most likely from any Le Labo stand and make your purchase there. So check it out for my musk lovers. Must 25, absolutely beautiful. Next up, let's talk about Creed Delphinus. Delphinus. Uh, the bottle, the actual bottle is like red or orange is red. I think it's red though. Cool looking bottle if you like red. But this is a new guy by Creed. And I know a lot of people have some polarizing opinions about Creed. Um, set that to the side for a second. Um, whether you feel like their batches are constantly changed and reformulated and kind of you know, not worth the price point, not saying you're not right, not saying you're wrong. I'm just here to review this fragrance. And by no means am I affiliated with any of these fragrance brands that I'm reviewing. But, you know, disassociate yourself from those opinions. And when you smell Creed Delphinus, Delphinus, I'm going to call it Delphinus in this video. Guys, this is a good fragrance. <laughs> um, I, I'm seeing people kind of saying not inspiring and I can understand that it, it sort of just plays one note through its whole existence when you spray it it's nothing interesting but it smells really good this is a mass appealing cherry pop soda like vanilla like fragrance this is a beautiful I think both men and women to wear this I believe what is in the fragrance which is like yeah black pepper pink pepper I believe orchid um definitely tonka bean in there i think there's some amber wood in there but that pepper and a lot of those masculine notes helps push this fragrance which you would believe to be feminine more over to the masculine side i think men and women can wear this fellas don't think you cannot wear this this if you like sweet fruity this is a sweet fragrance but it's not like fruity like candy fruity but there is a there's like a candiness to it. it it is it's like cherry pop soda almost like cinnamon some type of cinnamon it's the incense but cinnamon type of vibe guys this is good um i can imagine during the fall winter time this is amazing i think this will be a huge compliment getter super mass appealing i think if you're a person who likes sweet fruity fragrances gourmand lovers essentially you'll like this guys don't sleep on this me i like the fragrance i don't think i'm in love with the fragrance like it's really great if you know me i'm not huge on the sweet fragrances now like as i'm maturing and getting older sweet fragrances aren't always my cup of tea they're, they're really not but i do like some sweet fragrances don't get it misconstrued but this one they didn't annoy me. Sweet fragrances over a period of time annoys me. Um, they get cloying. They get, you know, they just get annoying. It's kind of like eating too much candy. You know, you start to feel sick. This doesn't do that for me. I enjoy it. I enjoy smelling it. I enjoy catching whiffs of it. It plays the same note. And then later on in its longevity, it, it dies down to a more vanilla kind of bourbon like scent on my skin and it's great i know some people are giving it a little bit of hate I, I think if we're just objectively looking at things objectively looking at fragrances which is such a subjective you know art form or i don't know arena um it's a good fragrance uh despite what your opinions are of creed it's good um i don't think it's gonna change the fragrance world by any means but I think it's a fragrance you should check out. If you like sweet, fruity, and sexy too, fragrances, man, this might be your new fall scent coming into fall and winter. New, new fragrance that I think Creed did a good job with another mass appealing, straight to the point, great smelling fragrance. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more interesting, maybe this won't fit your bill. Put it on your nose, see if you like it, and uh, 
hey, who knows? The price point is steep. <laughs> so make sure you like it. But nonetheless, I think Creed did a good job. So that is a video. I hope you guys have been liking the content. I hope you guys, you know, you made it this far. Again, awesome talking about fragrances. We love that, but expect more different content in the future. And as we grow, just please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Send it to your friends. Tell me, do you like what Creed's been offering lately? Um, tell me if you like what Le Labo has to offer lately. Um, nonetheless, I appreciate your viewership. And like always, I will catch you in the next one.